How to start freelance modeling. If this is the type of life that you want, then keep watching. To begin with some credentials, I've done runway, swimwear, fitness, e-commerce, skincare, beauty, and I've been a signed model. And most of the things that I mentioned, I've done it through freelance modeling. You do not need an agency to start modeling. Let me tell you how. To begin, you need to analyze your look, know what market works best for you, then aim to work in that market. For example, I'll be mentioning the main two. The main two is high fashion and commercial. For high fashion, if you are 5'9 plus and slim, then you fit into that market. For commercial, mostly anybody can fit into that market. Like the baby down the road, your grandpa, your uncle, literally anybody fits into that market. So if you look into each of these modeling markets and you see, where do I fit? I don't really know where I fit in look into commercial modeling because you will probably fit into there. I also do plan on making a video on how you guys can figure out which market works best for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tip number two would be collaborating with local photographers. Modeling with local photographers is a great way to start freelance modeling because it's sort of like an exchange deal, especially if they're new photographers. They're trying to build their portfolio and you're trying to build your modeling portfolio. So it's a great exchange. It is also great to collaborate with local photographers due to networking. Collaborating with local photographers brings me to my third tip. When you collaborate with them, make sure you have a good portfolio that you gain when collaborating. What does this mean? This means that you get versatile shots, such as editorial, runway, beauty, commercial, lifestyle, and personality if you would like. My next tip would be networking. Utilize your social media by following some startup brands, beauty companies, reaching out to them through Instagram, and networking through local boutiques you may have. They of course always may need a model, so just reach out to them. Another way that you can utilize your social media is looking up your local fashion weeks. You can find this by looking up your state or your city and looking up fashion week and maybe some results may appear. Fashion weeks tend to be seasonal so make sure you're up ahead like months way beforehand before to reach out to them. When you do your research, try to find out where are the casting directors, who's in charge, where are the designers, and try your best to work with them. As a freelance model, it will be hard to work with them just because they do reach out to agencies first, but if it's more small or if you're lucky by persuading them, I guess, then you will be able to work with them. One tip that I do have is that you do have your digitals and measurements in check before you try reaching out to them. Overall, do your research. Whether it's a big or small town you live in, there might be a fashion week there. My next tip is casting websites. Casting websites are where some small designers or big designers, big companies, they go there and they post some models that they need, some descriptions, and if you fit into them, then feel free to apply to that. You may get a job from that or you may not get a job from that. Overall, going on these casting websites is a great way to find a job as a model. I'll put some great casting websites here on the screen. One thing about these websites is that they have a great filter system. You can put your age, your city, your state, whether you want to get paid or not for it, and more within their filtration system. A lot of these casting websites, they may have a monthly fee. Not all of them that I listed have a monthly fee, but it is completely understandable that they have a monthly fee because agencies and casting directors tend to post on there, so the job success rate is pretty high. There are 100% other great casting websites that are for free. But before you do go for the casting websites, please make sure that you have your digitals and measurements in check. And one bonus tip would be marketing yourself. This means making sure that you communicate that you are a model to the people who you work with within your field. So what does this mean exactly, I guess? The photographer, the designer, the stylist, communicate to them that you're a model, tell them about your experience, get to know them better. This is also a sort of networking as well, so make sure you do that. This will open doors for you because you are putting yourself in the right ears, in the right minds, in the right possible conversations. Because that designer you worked with did need a model, and that designer probably has a designer friend that needs a model. And it just loops all around into some network that they all 
need you to model for them. So make sure you do communicate that you are a model to people. All the right people like us. And while you're doing that, make sure you do exchange Instagram, social media, and phone numbers, and more. This has personally worked for me, and it will work for you. I really hope you guys like all these tips that I provided today on how you can start freelance modeling without a modeling agency. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this, and stay tuned for this new series that I'm doing on giving you tips on how you can become a model in 2024. Bye.